I'm here from my son, Haven Dubois. Uh, I found him in Charlotte View Creek, May 20th, 2015, two weeks shy of his uh, 15th birthday. Um, the way they handled my son's case, uh, the lack of um, caring, the lack of investigation was very obvious from the start. Um, trying to get somebody to listen to me or to even ask questions of the system was a very difficult task. Um, it took me camping outside the Regina City Police for three nights uh, in a January, minus 30 weather, to go in order to, in order to open some dialogue with the Regina City Police so that they would talk to me. Um, because I made such a ruckus about it, um, technically at that time they did not have to show me any um, reports because the Saskatchewan did not fall under the Freedom of Information Act for the Regina City Police. Um, but they did, however, show me some of the report and with that I was able to punch holes in the coroner's case, or the coroner's report. They were forced to take out um, four key points in the coroner's report and then they said that that doesn't change anything. Um, the initial cause of death was um, accidental drowning with marijuana being a significant contributing factor. They had to remove the marijuana being a significant contrib contributing factor. They had to remove how he was found because they said he was found face down and I was the one who found him. They never got a statement off me. Um, he was not face down. He was in the fetal position in three feet of water. My son had just the same height as me. Um, expert swimmer could swim. There was basically no reason for him to be there. He was supposed to be in school at that that morning. Well, he was in school. Well, he went to school less early. Um, I got the call at a, shortly after 10. I found my son's body at about lunchtime that day. Before I got home from the hospital that day, they had determined it to be non-suspicious um, by three. By the 6 o'clock news, I hadn't even gotten home yet from the hospital. Um, when I was going through the case of the report, I was able to determine which cop had said that it was non-suspicious, and it was determined at about 3.15 that day. So unless they have, like, some deadly CSI cops there, there's no way they could have determined that. Um, because with what I was checking out, they... never documented injuries that were on his visible on his face. Um, there's a whole list of, of things that were not done, not even considered. Um,